at this point of the show, I would like to bring in our special guest, Dr. Gary Lawson. Um, Gary, are you on, on here with us? I am. Oh, great. How are you doing, Gary? Pretty good. Pretty good. Great. By the way, everyone, he's the owner of We Care Medical Mall, and that's uh, imaging and MRIs. Uh, program out there that you'll be able to save a ton of money. And at this point, Gary, you want to talk a little bit about your program there? Yeah, what happened is about 10 years ago, I um, uh, was working with a, a friend of mine who opened up an imaging center out here in California, and I said, uh, he just opened it up, and he says, I need some new business because I don't have any um, payers right now. And I said, okay, well, let's. Uh, what are the HMOs paying you? And he said, 320 uh, for an MRI with no contrast. So I said, okay, um, let's do 320, and then I'll do 60 dollars on top of that, and we'll do 380, and we'll offer cash um, patients the 380 price. And this is about 10 years ago. Well, six months after that, he got really busy and didn't need me anymore. And mm -hmm. but at that point, I had 10 other imaging centers willing to give me that price. And right now, we're um, we have lower prices than that, and we have 2,800 locations. So we're nationwide, and um, starting as a as a um, accident because I was trying to help out a friend, I now have 2,800 imaging centers located in every state, almost every state, mm -hmm. and we have it uh, um, MRIs for as little as two hundred dollars, and and so it's it just helps people that don't have insurance. Well, that's 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 the key word there, you know, word there, not having any insurance or people losing their coverage and, and, and benefits are being cut out. So, Gary, I mean, I'm looking at 2,800 locations and in 15 years now, since 2000, since you started. Yeah, it's been, it's been, yeah, it's been a while. And, yeah. Yeah, and, and I thought um, that people would, you know, that we'd be out of business this year because everybody would be covered now under the new <laughs> Obamacare. But what's happened is everyone's getting high deductibles. Yes. And so uh, we're busier now than we were, um, you know, a, a couple of years ago because they just can't afford the two or three thousand dollars that they would have to pay at a hospital to get an MRI. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we're doing well. The the another interesting fact is um, our MRIs, which average probably three hundred, four hundred nationwide, um, full cost, and that includes mm -hmm. the reading, are uh, in a lot of cases better quality MRIs than what people are paying $3,000 for in hospitals. Well, so, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, because technology keeps changing, and so, and and it's becoming less expensive, so people are getting 3T MRI machines for about a tenth of what um, the hospitals paid even a few years ago for a 1.5. Hmm. Wow. I mean, it's, uh, I know that for my fact uh, for myself because last year we used your service and here's the interesting situation. And I, you know, we had you guys up on our savings club. And by the way, Gary, to let people know, I mean, of this great benefit, there's two ways they can go. They can go right to our ndcsavingsclub.com and go on the MRIs and CT scans and you'll be able to click on it and then you read up a little bit about your company, the Gary, and then click on and go directly right to your site. But do you also have a website that people can go to directly? Yeah, our, we have a new website it's called cheapimaging.com. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah, that's kind of a funny story too. The um, When I first started, I never wanted to use the word cheap. Yes. And because everybody says, oh, it's cheap, you know, it's not gonna be yeah. any good. But what I found is that's the number one search term for people with no insurance. Is they, oh. They're looking for cheap um, prices for medical services. And so, so we just created a website recently called CheapImaging.com. So that's our newest one. Yes, I'm looking at your site you know, as we speak. And again, you, know, you, you see the latest equipment and you're throughout the whole nation. And it's a really nice website that people can go to. Uh, how would people, my next question would be, how, and I'll, I'll talk about my wife, what happened using your service, but how, how would people, you know, let's say I'm in uh, New Mexico or let's say in California, how, how would people, or here in New York, how would people know what centers are available? Would, they can do a search or you guys help them out when they call up your toll-free number. 
Yeah, yeah. What, what happens? They call our toll-free number, and what we try to do is give them options. And because uh, sometimes doctors want a certain type of uh, procedure, mm-hmm. so even though you have 2,800 locations, doesn't mean that the locations can do the procedure. Um, you know that particular procedure. So what we like to do is they call us up, they tell us what the doctors are looking for, they make sure they have a script, and then we find the locations that are closest to them, and then we give them di- different pricing. So the patients in control of where you know if they sometimes we can get them to go a longer distance and save a, you know a few hundred bucks, mm-hmm. and so we let the patient um, decide what they want to do. Well, that, that's that's happening more and more, Gary. I mean, I, I've been doing all these benefits and and trying to provide savings to people. And at one time, remember, uh, not too long ago, maybe 15 years ago or maybe 20 years ago, remember when you pay for insurance for a whole family, it was like three or $400 for the whole family, and, you, and, right. and, and then everything was covered. <laughs> you know, There was no deductibles, there was nothing at all, and you just went to the hospital and had whatever procedures, and you never paid a penny. That's right. And that's how it used to be 20, 25 years ago. I mean, that sounds like, you know, uh, unbelievable that you would pay maybe three or $400 for a whole family for insurance, and then everything would be covered. Medications would be covered, whatever procedures would be. Uh, those days are long gone. And right now, um, employers and, and groups and companies are chopping away at benefits. You know, the first thing they chop away is definitely you know, uh, dental and vision, then prescriptions, and that's happening even more and more, or just letting the uh, breadwinner or or the main worker just have benefits and not their families. So uh, these prices are, you know, really crazy. And what kind of savings would it be, Gary, compared to, let's say, if if I have no insurance, you know, I have no insurance and I don't know about your program. What if if I need a had an injury in my knee or a car accident or wh- wh- whatever situation might be that you need some sort of uh, a scan because you're you're getting pain and stuff and you don't know what's going on so you go to your doctor and the doctor says well I, I need to get you an MRI to see what's going on a neurologist or something and and I have no insurance uh, what kind of prices are we looking at to save yeah the um, if you go to a hospital and they say you say oh, okay I'm a cash pay the hospitals will probably cut their price um, significantly. So, at a hospital, they may say it's half price, and you'll pay twenty five hundred bucks. And then, but if you go through my service, it's like four hundred dollars. So, wait, it, you're saying wait twenty five hundred to four hundred dollars for the same thing? Yes. Well, I I really believe in most cases our um, uh-huh. our scans are better only because what happens when when the hospitals buy it, they buy it at the, when they first come out. Yes, and, and so they're buying the latest equipment at multi millions do- dollars. So they yes. they have a much higher uh, um, price because they bought it when it's new. Yes. But what happens is as um, changes, you know, just like computers, as um, changes happen, the equipment gets cheaper, but the quality gets better. Uh-huh. And so we're getting these guys um, outpatient all over the country who are opening up in like malls and mm-hmm. and um, medical buildings. And yes. so they're buying equipment that used to be two million dollars for a, you know a quarter of a million, and mm-hmm. now they can charge three hundred and still make money. Oh, I see that. So I mean, again, and we all notice that hospitals are notorious for charging fifty or two hundred dollars for an aspirin. <laughs> yeah, they, they gouge. They gouge everybody. So. Yes. So we know that. When you mentioned about that, um, hence your name, We Care Medical Mall. That's your company. Right. And w- it was a concept that you have so many different locations all over the place. It's like a mall uh, is like an all-in-one place to go to. Well, I, I, used to, um, I used to have other product lines. Uh-huh. Um, so, like I have a dental discount program in California for people okay. with no insurance. And um, I used to send people on medical tourism to all over the world to get surgery. I sold that last year. So it, that the name's been around for a while because I had multiple um, okay. different ways of helping people. Okay. So it's like an, like a mall, like all, all kinds of things that you have. Yeah. Well, I had. Now, okay. now I'm down to um, just dental and um, uh, the imaging centers. Okay, great. I yeah. mean, again, 
our of our members here, and again, we're always looking for ways to help people save money. And you say your dental network is, is considerable in California. Maybe we can put that up as well in our industry savings club for people in California for them to save money on your on your dental, which that's also another needed service. No, dentals are are great. Yeah, dentals. Um, it, so we did the dental program about a year before we started the imaging center, and it's it, we're doing really well. Um, mm-hmm. We save people around sixty to seventy percent, and it's you know it's not very much money per year. So it's, mm-hmm. no, I mean that's really great that you you have all this. And again, everyone, as you can hear this, you know we we try to get good companies out there that are progressive. You know they're looking ahead and ways to save money. And, and I think, like you mentioned, it, Gary, that what is happening right now, technology is getting cheaper. So in, in return, the prices go down and you get in better quality. I think that kind of says it all in reference to technology, no? That's, it. That's exactly right. You know, if you buy, um, you know, you know, Apple One versus Apple Six, and, you know, mm-hmm. you know you're getting different, um, different elements, but a lot of times in healthcare, they still keep, you know, the first generation, but they're still charging prices that they, they don't make any sense anymore. So mm-hmm. it would be nice to find other places, you know, niches where mm-hmm. they're they're getting the newer technology and giving people less prices. Yeah. So, well, well, technology after a year, I think most of the stuff becomes obsolete. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's yeah. really the reality. Isn't that sad? It's true. No, I mean, it's great. So buy the second generation. <laughs> That's right. And, and get and get getting something cheaper, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, and you're still getting three times more what it was <laughs> than right. before. So, uh, it, what I I wanted to mention, I mentioned reference to my wife. What happened when we used you guys last year? Uh, and I know because I you know I know about the benefits and all. Um, my wife needed. She had some car accidents like maybe 25 years ago, whatever. And of course, you know, like anything. Any kind of injury is always there, you know, and, and it does its right. damage. And then in time, it creates scar tissue, and then it builds up. Uh, that's why, you know, we're, you know, I'm very strong. And, again, our, our audience here, Progressive Radio Network and stuff, with Gary known, and we know what the truth is in reference to doctors and all that. So we try to take care of our health, which that's really where health care is going. You know, people need to take care of themselves first because you can't really rely on the medical system to help you. It's like right. it's like it, it's like the sheep going to the wolves. You know, that's right. That's right. Exactly right. You 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 can't rely on them. And the beauty about inter, you know about the technology, the internet, iPads and and Samsung pads and all these you know devices and all that, we're beginning to wake up because we can't afford it anymore. You know, you know to be sick. And the medical system has, you know, sadly, and I guess uh, also um, uh, full uh, greediness, you know, of, of profit and stuff, has sacrificed all of us to its That's altar. Right. You know? That's right. It's exactly. It's it's just a system of greed. Yeah, it is. It, and it's not. There's nothing evil about it. It's just people say, "Well, I can do it well, and I can make money from it." And that's all it is. That's what it seems like to me. You know, like people are not evil. They're just out there doing the best that they can to make the most profit. That's and, right. And and, and there's nothing you know wrong with it. And again, this is a capitalism, you know, country, whatever. And we should have the right. But then again, comes the part where you know uh, you should have a conscience. <laughs> you know. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Where's where's that fine line, right? Yeah, it's it's like it is that fine line, you know. It's like are you gonna go out there and hurt people and rip off people and and hurt them, or are you gonna be true to your soul, you know? And I, and, and I really believe that. Again, these are universal laws or spiritual laws. Whatever you do comes back to you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I I, I agree with you 100. Yeah. percent But I, I think there is a lot of um, greed beyond the. Mm-hmm. The, the fine line that in healthcare because there's yeah. so much money in there that you know you're having people that that do things or they'll do extra tests they don't need or they'll oh, yeah. send you to their buddy who they play golf with and he charges you 500 more than if you know if you went to a local uh, clinic it's just mm-hmm. I think there's so much greed in the healthcare system it's just what what about the kickbacks and going to doctors because they're they're pushing certain medication and it's not the right one but that's what they're getting paid on. I mean, right. I, I have an autistic child, daughter, just 10 years old, and I already went through that game, right. you know, 
you know, because uh, again, you know, I'm I'm trying that aspect of it for medication, and that was a joke, you know, and and I I done a show on autism, you know, which I got a really great ratings as well, right? And, and uh, again, I'm I'm taking it as the expert of a parent, and and looking at progressive things and looking ahead to see, you know, what would work. You know, and, and what's out there. So again, uh, I'll do a, a future show on that. And again, uh, let me just say to everyone that really does not work. That whole medication thing on these poor kids. So you sacrifice a lot. But that's a whole other issue. But saying in reference to the medical with you guys, uh, yeah. here's what was interesting, Gary, is that about a year ago, almost the beginning of a year ago. Um, we, my wife, again, like saying she, she suffered some car accidents and her neck and all that, you know, got damaged. And again, it, it will take about 20, 30 years to come up, you know, come back to you and, 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 and start flaring up and start showing up. And she had a bunch of neck and, and cricking and in her shoulders and stuff and all that. So we went. And what was interesting is that we have regular insurance. You know, we have regular insurance. We have more like an 80-20 policy with a deductible. Right. And that's and that's really what's standard. There is there is no more hundred uh, insurance now. Is might might be fifty fifty, sixty forty, or eighty twenty. There's right. no hundred insurance company you know out there. So of course the eighty twenty. So the deductible on that was fifteen hundred dollars, and of course the the higher the the, the deductible is two thousand, three thousand. The lower the premiums, monthly right. premiums. That's right. Exactly. So it, yeah, so in our case, again, we don't know. Again, you know, we're paying the $1,500. So for my wife to go to those procedures, it was going to cost us $1,500 deductible right. plus the eighty twenty. We still have to pay another twenty, so it might be there like 1000 So we still might have to pay 100 or $200 still out of our pocket. So what it might come out for this procedure, it might be like sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars $1,700 out of our right. pocket. Now, with your company... The same exact uh, imaging place that she right. had, the lateral and all that, it came out to like $650. Right. So, let's see, $650 out of my pocket or $1,700 to the insurance company. And, it's, yeah. that's, and that's added to my deductible and my yearly deductible. So, of course, you know, that, that's almost a th- over $1,000 savings. Yeah, it doesn't make and, and you have insurance. Yes, and I have insurance. So yes, yeah, it's cra- it's just it's crazy about the difference in price. I tell you, I tell you something else that uh, we get about uh, two to three times a day. Uh, people will come call us up and they'll say, uh, "Okay, it's you know it's four hundred bucks or five hundred bucks, whatever it is, you know whatever our price is in their area," mm-hmm. and they'll say, "You know, it's got to be a scam. You can't you can't um, you can't be that low." Mm-hmm. So so we get that about two times a day, and then the other big one is. Well, let me check with my doctor to see if, you know, if this is okay. And a lot of times doctors, which drive me crazy, will tell them to go to the hospital that they're on staff with because they have lunch there. And they, these poor, you know, these poor people are paying three grand because the doctor says that, um, yeah, you're not going to get a good enough scan there. But all uh, imaging centers nationwide, almost all um, are certified by the state. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to get a bad scan. So these doctors just lie directly to the to people, just you know, and and they're forcing forcing them to pay thousands of dollars. Wow, and that totally amazes me. Well, again, I mean that this is what the internet and blogging and social media and shows like this and you know and websites and stuff we're, we're telling people, you know. But the real reality, Gary, is that people are awakening up. You know, they they right. see it. a scan is a scan is a scan. You know, it's That's the same right. equipment. That's you know, right. so it, it's it's like this. Like I mentioned at the beginning of your show, when I was talking about the medication, I, I had a generic medication, and one place was ninety dollars. The same exact generic medication was forty nine dollars at a different location, and then at a mom and pop. Um, uh, Place was eight dollars like thirty one cents for exactly the same medication. I know. So, but again, <laughs> you know, if if people want to choose and believe what they believe, but if you do your research and say, wow, it's, it's exactly the same thing, right. so why would you pay? And especially, I can see if you already have insurance, but you still have to pay the deductible, like I mentioned before, my my wife's story, you know. Right. 
I mean, it's still a ton of money. So why not save the money? And by the way, everyone, uh, I'm putting all this together here for the website, for the NDCSavingsClub.com. And I'm going to show everyone how much money I saved in one year last year. Uh, I'm looking at thousands of dollars just using our savings club. So as you can see here, everyone, this is what we have here. The NC Savings Club is you guys ask for it, and that's what we put together to help you guys save money on all your – and we're, we're driven more towards health care. So again, you know, Gary, th- th- this is what this is. Now, I had an email here, and I get emails from people asking questions. Right. One, one email says that – let me see here. Uh, let me get the person's <laughs> name, uh, and which is an interesting question. Joseph from Colorado, he's asking, what is the difference between an MRI and a CT scan? Yeah, MRIs are usually soft tissue. In other words, an MRI uses magnets to, um, to, um, to do the test. A CT scan is like an X-ray on steroids. In other words, if you get an X-ray, um, um, it gives out certain radiation, and but that... Uh, X, um, CT scans are using um, are looking more for the bones, mm-hmm. but um, and you don't want to do too many CT scans because the radiation's so high. MRI doesn't give off radiation. It's, yeah, it's, I want to ask you about that. There's, there's a difference. Like CT could be like an X-ray. Yeah, like a, no, like a hundred X-rays. Is it? That's not good. Yeah, yeah. So that and CT scan and depends what they're looking for. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, and so. Um, so there's a big difference between the two. It's just two different types of technology, but the um, MRIs are made with magnets, so if you have um, any type of metal uh, in your body, you, you might not be able to do an MRI. Now, what about uh, if people have implants in, like in their teeth and stuff? It, it depends how small it is. Uh-huh. Um, or, and so that's one of the um, things that people have to find out ahead of time. Okay, so I mean, again, if you if you're in a car accident and you have a bunch of plates in your in your leg or in your head or something, that, then you that, couldn't do it. Yeah, you couldn't do it. Then you, at that point, you have to do a CT scan. Then. Correct. Okay, so it depends on how much metal you have. I would say maybe like for implants or something uh, in your mouth or something, there's just little pulse. That should be okay because it's just magnetic. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, it, and so they they tell them ahead of time. They tell them ahead of time. Yeah. I have here. Uh, another email message, and this is Elizabeth from uh, California. All right. It says um, she wants to know about can she use this for scanning for her cat, and I'm assuming for pets as well. No, you can't. What okay. happened? Yeah, we, we've tried over the years to um, find a veterinarian service. There, there are far and few between. Usually at vet hospitals. But because they have such a high monopoly uh, on, uh, you can't use human um, CT scans and MRIs for uh, pets. It's just it's you know it's prohibited by law. But what happens is the places that do scanning they charge incredible amounts of money for cats and dogs. It's just you know I can't believe it. But they have a monopoly. You know, like there's only one per area, mm-hmm. so it's not like you can compete them against each other because. They're the only ones in town to do it, so they they can charge pretty much whatever they want, and they do. Mm-hmm. Do you, Do you have that service though for people? No, we don't. We, okay, we we've tried many times, but they just won't give us lower prices. Uh, yeah, and I'm assuming because again, it, it's it's not like people they have to, you know, try to sedate the animal. The, the animal might soil themselves. <laughs> Yeah, it's mostly veterinarian hospitals that do it, and or or real high level, um, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Um, clinics. And does insurance cover that or no? People have to pay out of their pocket. Well, no, there's pet insurance that will cover it, but you'd have to go to your veterinarian and get it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, that that was an interesting question. Um, I have here Mark from New Jersey asking here, and I know there's some issues with certain states, uh-huh. and New Jersey's one of the states. How would that work? Uh, we can do a lot with New Jersey. Uh huh. So, yeah, we we get a lot of. Uh, we've never had a problem with New Jersey. Okay. Yeah, so, and then, yeah, we've never had a problem with New Jersey at all. And some people, um, we have one in Manhattan that's open seven days a week, and that's probably one of the few in the country. Mm-hmm. So sometimes people will go to on a Sunday from you know northern New Jersey to Manhattan just to have it done over the weekend. 
and then they'll go see a show or something. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So, so they, but we've never had any problem with New Jersey. Okay. So then, what about? Um, do people need any kind of like anesthesia or something like that, or you know that they, they people need to be knocked out, whatever, to to go into these scans, or they can just go in, you know, without anything. Most people will go in without anything, but um, a lot of times, if, if they're anxious about going into small spaces, they have what's called open MRIs or open CT scans, which look like donuts. Mm-hmm. Um, so instead of going into a tube, you go into something that looks like a donut, where your head's out and your feet are out, uh-huh. and and then just covers the part that they're trying to scan. So those are called open MRIs or open CT scans, mm-hmm. and then. Um, a lot of people will take a Xanax or, or have their doctor give them um, some type of sedative um, if they're claustrophobic. Yeah, because that, that's one of the issues my wife had. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah that they, she, they, usually, they usually tell the doctor ahead of time, and they'll give them something to calm them down. Yeah, because that was the second time she, you know, she, we went to one time, and she just, she just couldn't stand being closed in. And, and, and I'm assuming that that's a big part of with people, you know? It happens all the time. Yeah, it happens all the time. So they, they're they very familiar with it, and they usually just give them a sedative to calm them down. Yeah, that, and that's what I wanted to bring up, that that's what happened with my wife. And, uh, you know, and then she the next time she, she took the sedative, and, and she went without no problems, and it was kind of relaxing. But, again, you know, people have to get, you know, past those you know those things as you can see here gary you know i'm talking from my own personal experience going with my wife because i never went to one myself so i mean it seems pretty pretty easy just lie in a bed right (laughs) yeah you know you just have to lie still for a while so if you got uh because the the when it passes over you you want you have to stay still to get the images so you just have to stay pretty still for uh, about 20 minutes all right, Gary, I can hear our music is coming up. The time right. went by really fast. I really thank you. I really appreciate your time and your great company there and your services. And again, everyone, you can go to the NDCSavingsClub.com or go to CheapImaging.com to get your, uh, your information. So again, Gary, thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, thank you, Gary. Okay. Bye. I didn't know you were sleeping in bed. 